And you got a man laying next to you and he smell it, child. He just don't want to hurt your feelings. But it's thing. Your breath stink. And who wanna be around feeling like your breath stink? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanee Nicole. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey girl, and if you're new, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So today we'll be doing a hygiene tip video. And I have a lot to tell you guys, okay? So let's get right into the video. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with the top and I'm gonna make my way down. Yeah, down, that's what we're gonna be talking about today, ladies. I mean, men, y'all can use these tips too to a certain extent but this is mostly for the ladies so okay first we're gonna start with set the top so i'm gonna start with bay mouths so nobody wants to be around a smelly mouth person your breath stink and who want to be around someone like your breath stink so the basic tips is toothpaste and toothbrush and make sure you got something that covers your toothbrush. Do not let your toothbrush be out here in the world getting bacteria on it. Um, any toothpaste is good as long as it's not like some fruity, berry, kitty, bubblegum kind of toothbrush. Because I don't think that works. And I think it needs to be something like, see mine has a baking soda and peroxide in there. Which helps your teeth to be white. Yeah, and I have a vision lines that uh, I had got last year, and my teeth is getting real straight, so invest in you, ladies. So that's the basic tips that everybody would say, you know, just brush your teeth, yeah, girl, your breath better. Uh, and wrong, your breath still stinks. So, your breath still stinking that bad, or you just want to be a person like me who wants to have, you know, a really good breath all day. I got these from Amazon. They're tongue scrubbers. And they're like this. And it's like a pack of them. It's like a pack of them. I think a pack of four. I already used one. But I'm going to show you a little like. They come in like these little containers. And they're like colored. So I think. I think. I know. I'm going to be changing these like every six months. The way I change my toothbrush. So yeah. And they come to a little case. I just don't have my other one in there, which I definitely should be doing, but they can put them in here. Okay, so this is what it looks like outside of the plastic. Um, it's just like a toothbrush, and then it has this wide uh, top part. And then you just take it on your tongue like this. And you scrape down all that white stuff that's on your tongue. You get that off. That's mucus and bacteria that builds up on your tongue that will get you uh, sick. And I just hit my tongue on the face. That will get you sick like I was saying. And also get you tonsil stones. If you don't know what tonsil stones, it's like mucus that build up on the back of your tonsils. And it hurts your throat and you think you got strep throat with tonsils. Tonsil stones is very common for people who has a lot of mucus and post nasal drip, which I have in this, uh, you know, the mucus in your nose tend to drip in your throat, okay, whatever. Okay, so you will use these and you get the mucus off. Boom. I forgot all about this, yeah. Arrow bread. Oral. 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 Brent. I just started using this. And since I've been using this and that tongue scraper, my breath is on a honey. Rarely, I'm waking up the next day. I don't got morning breath. Like, my breath don't stink like that. Like, I brush my teeth because I have to brush my teeth every time I eat. This is my business line. I use this twice a day, so I use this when I eat breakfast and then when I eat dinner. I don't use it when I eat lunch because that's too much. Lunch. But, it, I don't really like this uh, flavor. This is clean mint. I probably should have got spearmint, which is the, like, the green color. Or like the pink one because that's the one I see a lot of people use. These are a little pricey. But it actually does work and I do feel like it is helping my teeth and my breath. So, good shot. I'm going to link it down below. 
I got it from Amazon. Next is lips. So, Vaseline. Vaseline. I use it. I use it on my face. I use it on my lips. Because, I don't know, my skin just tends to be dry. My lips tend to be dry. So, what do I do? I use this. And then once you get the base, which is Vaseline, because I don't use um, Carmex and uh, 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 yeah, the other one. I don't use that. I can't think of the name. Because it just don't work for me. I feel like it's just putting a bunch of like something that's on my lip that's still cool. And then it goes right back to being dry. So I use this. And then after you do that, you have lip gloss. My ladies, you see this gloss? Mmm. And my fellas, like I wear lip gloss too long, no. But listen, whoever wearing it, get with the game. I use only my lip gloss. So if you go on my Instagram, go on my TikTok, anywhere you see me with lip gloss on, I don't use no cheap hair store dollar lip gloss. It's 2023, so I'm gonna set the game up. And my lips are never dry. My lips stay glossy for hours. Everyone loves my lip gloss, so get with the promo. Um, I will link it down below. My brand is Busy Auto Enterprises. You know, so with your girl. And it really does work. I'm not just saying it because I make it. But I'm saying it because I make it. Because when I made it, I made sure that it was moisturizing. It's all natural oils in here. Pure oils in here. And they're all different flavors. I Today I have on Aqua, which is our clear, on my lips first. And then I put um, High Class on top of that because I wanted like a little tint to it. So, lit. And now we're going to the face. And my face wash that I use, everyone says this all the time. My skin don't really break out like that. It only breaks out when I'm around like my period time. And I had a comment. I had comments on my YouTube too. And people saying my skin is really clear. It's because I use these two products right here. Um, this is from my brand. My Black African Soap. It's natural. Got the ingredients is on here. It's natural with tea tree, rosemary, vitamin E oil, and water. Girl, natural. And when I have like a bad breakout, I go to this. I go to this. Because if I use this for a week, it can clear. When I'm in a rush, I use clean and clear. Um, it works, but I kind of don't when I keep using this because if I use this and then use something else it breaks my face out but if I use this and then go to this it don't break my face out so it's like something about this like if I don't use it for long my face break out so I'm I think I'm gonna just start staying with this I don't know I just wanted like some exfoliation because I do have like a lot of dead skin on my nose so I wanted to go to this but I think I might just go back to only using this so Okay, so another thing I do for my face is I use this right here, which is like a um, like a pore eraser thing. It's dirty because I had it in like a bag with my makeup, so it's like brownish, and so is my hands. I literally I hate when I touch inside of my makeup bag. I need to wash it or whatever, clean it, get a new one, whatever. But it just made everything brown. But it's like, it looks like this. It's, um, I don't know what the language is in. Like, but it's not English. Uh, it's a like K-Skin. Then something else. $19.99. And the cool thing about this. I got this from Amazon. You can get the app on your phone. And you can see yourself get the pores out your nose. And like the pus out your face. So when I do get a bump, I don't pop it like this. I get this. Unless it dies, I'm going to do it. But... I use this. I like seeing. I'm a real person. I like seeing pumps get pop. So this is cool. One thing is the app acts a little funky sometimes, but it works. It's dead, but it's like a lot of suction to it. And if you're like a oh, what I try to use it before was saying it has a lot of suction to it though because I'm put my finger in it. You can see that it it it. it yeah. And if you're a person that's like really light skin, it would um
And look how many little marks on your face. I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah, be careful about that because you don't want to have like red marks on your face. But, works. Okay, the last thing for your face, so I'm popping back onto the face, is this right here. I know I'm plugging stuff from my brand, but I actually use these things. Is a face mask, which helps if you have any like dark marks on your face, on your body, on your underarms and <laughs> down there. Just don't get it inside, but you know, down there. You can put this on here. It's a turmeric mask. Focus chat. My camera being weird today. This is the glow mask from my brand. I don't know what it's focusing on instead of this container, but the glow mask and this is turmeric in here which helps dark marks and any discoloration that you may have on your body use this for two weeks and it's gonna light it up honey mm -hmm. next is something I'll never hear people talk about in these hygiene videos but if you have piercings I'm a person who have piercings you see pierce pierce my ears is pierced. I have like uh, like four on my ears. Both of them, one on the top and everything. I just don't wear ear rings for real. But if you have piercings, I have a belly ring. If you have any kind of piercings, you need to be washing them with soap. I don't always wash my belly ring because I wash them in the shower, regular. But my ear rings, I like I have to wash them my nose with this soap here. This is really dirty and really messed up, but I'm gonna link it down below. It ain't nothing but like a antibacterial lotion soap. That's what it's called. Ain't no lotion there. I don't know. lotion. Lotion. It's a lotion, but I don't know. This or some sea salt and a Q-tip. Get up in there because I don't use Q-tips in my ear. Q-tips up in there. You know your piercings. Wash it with this. Rinse it with warm water. Boom, clean. Cause the back of your ears, honey, is tight. And you wondering why you touch your ear in a stain. It's because you don't wash your hair seams or your ear holes. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to tell you. And then you got a man laying next to you and he smell it, child. He just don't want her to feel it. But it's tight. So, make sure you get your soap and you wash behind your ears. And your others. Next, we gonna go to an arm. So like I was saying, so I either use that you can use that mask underneath your arms, or if you're a person who tends to have like hyperpigmentation in your arms, I found out you use a little Dove soap, right? With some baking soda, put it on your hand, rub it in there, seven days. No more fix. But I want the deodorant. I don't like secrets. I like this. But I think I want to get something better than this because I feel like it's not really doing it. Like, it's not a my arm stink. They don't stink. But I feel like I want something more natural. So, I'm gonna be switching my deodorant. I'm gonna probably come up with y'all a feet on a better deodorant than Dove. But this is the one I have. It's the Dove powder one. Yeah. Okay. So, next, we're gonna go to the body. And I'm gonna do body wash first. So, this is the body wash I'm using right now. I tend to use Dove a lot. The one I really like is like a exfoliation one and it got like little beads in it. It makes your skin feel really soft. And if you use it every day, it don't feel dried out because you're exfoliated. It just feels very moisturizing. That's the one I really like, but this is the one I got right now. I like the other smells. It smells really clean. It has a clean smell to it. But I double wash. So I use this bar soap first. Um, and this one is the shea butter. So either I would use this and then a shea butter, one of these two. But lately I've been using these two and I like how this smells afterwards. So I use these two together. Wash up with this first. 
to do this after. And whatever you use second as like a gel, like the same one you use like a Bath and Body Works gel, that will sit on your body last because you put it over top of your soap. I'm saying you shouldn't wash up with bath and body works because it's not washing blood, which is a perfume kind of smell. So you use soap first and then you use body gel. And then we go get down to down there. And did I not bring it in here, Chef? Oh, what I use, I was using um summer's ease before this is not the one i used i only have this one because i had lost the one i was using and i had to use something really quick but uh because i was out i wasn't home so i have this one and i don't really like scents one the tropical one didn't mess me up down there but this one just irritating me so some girls can use this, some girls can't. I can use the tropical one, but I cannot use this one. So I wanted to have something better because I just didn't like how it was working down here. So I got this. I have found this from Amazon. I've seen a couple of people do reviews on these. It is essential tea tree oil and probiotic daily feminine wash. That's what it looks like. And they gentle clean, sensitive skin, pH balance, odor, um, and it's very natural. And I'm using this it's like a little clear gel. I've been using this and I like this. I like these. I like these. I like it better than some of these the rose rolls. I feel like I stay fresh way, way, way longer. I like how it smells. It doesn't have all them typical fruity smells. I don't like all that. It smells natural, and that's what I want. Okay. Okay, so when it comes to shaving, we're doing shaving next. I have these little razors that I had got from Amazon. It's a pack. I don't know how many in here. It was like $9, I think. And these are like different packs of these. And like they're like eyebrow razors. But I was going to use them for like. I was going to use them for like shaving my face. Because I shaved my whole face because your makeup goes on smoother when you shave your old face and i have a long sideburn so i tend to be custom but uh so i have to shave my whole face for a smoother face my lip my yeah 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 i shave with that got just my eyebrows and then you're gonna shave me down there it's a shame i think it might shave during my back this is not the blade I like. I like, um, I'm gonna give it down below. It's the one that's like softer on my skin. And my skin always smooth with it. So this is the shaving cream I like to use. I'm gonna link it down below. I got it from Amazon. It smells really good. And my skin is always really soft after I use it. And I use these two together, but not this. I'm gonna link the one I really use down below. Okay, let's get into moisturizing. So why should I like that? Moisturizing. Um, I use this. I might change my lotion, but I really like this for my face and my body. Um, but I'm running out of it, so I gotta think I really wanna restock this one or get something else. This is bad setting. I told you that's when really works to me. It's have dry skin. And um I got to shower though first I would do a body oil. I got this from Amazon too. Um you can get any body oil that you want. You can get like baby oil. Um I know a lot of brands make body oil or body just say body oil gel, it's the same thing. But I got a cocoa butter one because I like cocoa smells and like warm chocolate smells. So it was like going together with my other stuff that was like shea butter and all that. Like that goes together. And you want to smell a certain way, you keep stuff that, well you get things that complement each other. So that was complimenting it. That's why I got this. That's a um, cocoa butter smell. Um, and then this is cocoa glow. So keep it. Okay, so now we're going to go to 
smells so the first thing i want to say if you put your body oil on you put your lotion on well first you got to shower you dry off you put your oils on your body you put your lotions on your body the next thing is to put your scents on that you want to use make sure you use something that complements each other so i'm not showing you nothing that mix i'm just showing you things that i could i randomly grabbed and picked up and i'm gonna show to y'all so first thing is a perfume i would say a perfume goes on your body um i don't really like this one it's okay um i'm gonna link it down below i forget what the name of it is but i got it from amazon it's an okay perfume but there's definitely way better ones this is just the first one i've seen so i just picked it up from up my dresser but you will go perfume on your body right and then you will go body mist on your clothes with make sure it complements each other now this doesn't go with that at all but this is more of like a warm grown woman kind of smell this is more of like it's a pretty peach it's from bath and body it's more of like a light fruity smell they don't really smell the same this is giving me like fall winter kind of smell like a woody smell and this is more like a fruity sweet smell i really like this it smells like um sour patches a little bit so you will want to mix this with like a fruitier scent because it's going to be on your clothes so it's going to last on your clothes I mean, I sprayed on my shirts, my pants, everything, and the other ones on my skin. I mean, you can go over your body with this, but your perfume goes more on your body. And it's, even if they do mix together, it's going to smell better because it's going to last longer and they complement each other. So, um, and then once you already have used your regular lotion, you use your scented lotion. This is, um... Uh, champagne toast everybody girl know this from back by the this smells really good they changed the formula though mm. when i was talking about it i use this okay and i also forgot to say i forgot to say if you um when you're in a shower you need some kind of exfoliant i use these like rags i got from um walmart and they have like a exfoliate inside and then a regular cloth side I don't use this the whole time I wash it up. I just use this for my bar soap and uh, work down my body because I want to scrub and then I use the other soap and then I use that on my hands. And I use this to wipe the other one off to wipe my, my nose and stuff because my nose literally gets dead skin on it. I don't really use it for the rest of my face. I use it for my nose and then quickly go over my face with it from my seat. And wash the rest of my hands. I'm a hand type of washer. I don't really like rags, but the last thing that goes with my hygiene tips and my hygiene regimen that I do is vitamins. So I don't have any vitamins to show you guys, even though I take vitamins, but I don't. I ran out, so I have to go get some. I have, I got some prescribed from my doctor. So depending on how you feel, you can get them prescribed from your doctor or you can go and do your research on different types of vitamins to see what is the benefits and what could help you either down there, your hair, your skin, your anxiety, anything like that. You can get vitamins from Rite Aid, Walmart, Target, I believe they all have different types of vitamins but make sure you do your research on the vitamins first and make sure you do your research on the brand because every brand is different even if it is the same vitamin i used to take hair skin and nail vitamins for my hair and my nails it didn't really help with my hair growth but it did help my nails being stronger when i used to get my nails done all the time and when i would take them off it wouldn't be so brittle and then i've been trying this uh liquid chlorophyll for the past three days and um my friends told me I don't do nothing but make me pee. Girl, it make me go. They lied. I pee a lot anyway, but this is making me pee every two minutes. Making me go to the bathroom, making me instantly when I drink it. Some hurt. But I mean, it's not that big. But it definitely can be from drain because it's going to toxins out the first day I took it. I'm going to take it again today, but um, I don't know. Some people said that helps get odor away from your whole body. It helps with your breath. It helps with your lady situation make sure she don't have no odor your under becomes under odor your feet don't got no odor i'm not doing it for odor purposes i'm doing it for energy because it also said to help boost your immune system so um yeah i'm going to continue to take these but i think i'm gonna lay off for a week and then i'm gonna start again 
not next week but the week after and try to go two weeks on taking it because the lady I had seen talk about it she said she was using it for two weeks and she didn't have any smell at any time so we're not so off girl era we need to smell good period okay guys that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it um if there's any other things that you want to know about or you want me to try for you or you want me to explain more comment down below dm me any of that my instagram my business website my instagram for my businesses my other two um youtube pages will be down below and yeah, I got more videos coming soon. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe.